Hello everyone, welcome to Just In Adult Fiction uh, here at the main library and I'm here with Margaret who's going to tell us about some great books. Yes! Uh, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hi Kyle, I'm so happy to be here again today on GBTV <laughs> and I have a few Just In books, they just came in and these are, I think these are going to be kind of uh, sleeper hits, so. Okay, well I look forward to hearing about them. Yeah, <laughs> so the first one is a bit of a romance with a different twist. Oh, okay. So this first book is called Hello Stranger. It's by Catherine Center, and it just came out last week on the July 11th. And this, Kyle, is a romance with a different twist. Okay, okay. listen for this. This is really a different twist. Sadie Montgomery has always wanted to be an artist, and she's super excited because she's just placed as a finalist in a very prestigious portrait contest. However, she was pre-scheduled for minor surgery before the awards ceremony, and when she wakes up from the surgery, she suddenly can no longer see faces. Oh, okay, yeah, not the twist I expected. Yeah, that's <laughs> a different twist. So they tell her she has temporary face blindness. And she decides, since it's temporary, she's not going to tell anybody about this. She's not going to tell the veterinarian who just asked her out on a date. And she's definitely not going to tell her obnoxious neighbor, Joe, who seems to be popping up every time she needs some help. <laughs> OK. That sounds like a bit of a triangle coming up here, right? Yeah, no. And I, I'm curious how like not seeing a face is incorporated into it. Into this, especially for a portrait artist. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think this is like a read-alike for Emily Henry. If so, if you're waiting for the newest Emily Henry book, this might be a good choice for people. It's it's really a, you know, a different twist on a romance if that's what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, not one I've heard before, so it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Okay, so what else you got for us today? Uh, so the next is a change. The next is a historical fiction book. It's called The Air Raid Book Club. It's by Annie Lyons, and this also came out last week. It's set in 1938 London, and Gertie Bingham is deciding if she should retire and close up her popular bookshop and move to the sea with her dog, Hemingway. But instead, one of her neighbors convinces her to take in a 15-year-old Jewish girl named Hetty who is escaping from um, all of the turmoil that's happening in Germany. So she's sent on one of those bus, kinder transport buses to come, okay. come and live with her. Right. Okay. Um, and then when the blitz begins and the bombs start flying overhead, Gertie and Hetty decide to start the Air Raid Book Club to help their neighbors keep their minds off what's going on. It's really a heartwarming story and it shows us the power that books really have to not only transport us, but also bring us together. Yeah, and that's definitely like a nice message to hear. And yeah. I'm always a big fan of like nice, like historical fictions. Like if it's just the right amount of based in real history, yeah. I think it's really cool. But also Kyle, it reminded me, you know, not only how books can bring us together, but with the current exhibit we have here, The Violins of Hope, it also, you know, it reminded me how music can bring us together. Mm -hmm. And I think we have new violins coming in today, don't we, for yes, our exhibit? Yes, we just received some new violins. Uh, so we're going to be updating the exhibit shortly. And you'll definitely want to come see that and learn about all these other violins that are coming in. And these were violins from before World War II, during World War II, mm -hmm. they all have different stories that I think are really moving. And, and mm -hmm. I think that's what's so powerful to see in that exhibit. So I hope people can make it. Oh yeah, definitely. See the new ones. If they've already made it, come back and see the new violins and learn their new stories. And if you haven't made it, it's really worthwhile coming in on the second floor at the main library mm -hmm. to see these yeah, violins. It definitely is. All right, so what is our last book? So the last book I chose is called Block Party by Jamie Day, and this just came out on July 18th. This is set on a very exclusive cul-de-sac on Alton Road, and all of the residents there 
are intertwined in a web of secrets and scandals unknown even to themselves. Yeah, that's not what I expected when I heard the block title was party? Block Party. <laughs> well, they have a block party and guess what happens? There's a murder at the block party. <laughs> <laughs> this went an entirely different direction than I thought oh, based on the cover. Oh, we thought it cover. was going to be a fun party book? Well, it's a thriller. It's a <laughs> roller coaster of a thriller. Uh, so this is actually an Amazon best book for 2023. Right. It's got huge buzz, big word of mouth. They're comparing it to Desperate Housewives meets Big Little Lies. So if you liked those two, you may enjoy reading Block Party. I see it's grow the holds are growing on it now, so I think this one's really going to be okay. a word of mouth, Kyle. So you definitely want to get in those holds and check out as soon as possible yeah. because they're very quickly going, apparently. Yeah, popular book. You'll have to read it now. They see it was completely yeah, no, that, different. That was, that was a very different. <laughs> I'm a lot more intrigued than I was oh, going good. into it. <laughs> all right, but all these sound great. And remember, uh, you just need a library card to come in and check out any of these books at any of our branches. And thank you so much, Margaret, for joining us. Thank and you for having me, Kyle. Yeah, these were some great books to hear about, and I hope we see people come in and get them. Thanks. All right, thank you all for joining. See you next time.